Duelist has kind of contracted me to do a deck teachings in Duelist. So I've got a cool little deck here. It's called Mechazor. Mechazor is kind of infamous for those who have played Duelist, but for those who haven't, the idea of Mechazor is that you're getting your Helm of Mechazor, Wings of Mechazor, Cannon of Mechazor, Sword of Mechazor, and Chassis of Mechazor uh, to be summoned. And when you summon five of those, you get to combine them into Mechazor, which is a monstrous card. Uh, I'm sure I'll be summoning him a few times in the games. Mechazor does have counters to it, notably Crossbones. But if you see a lot of uh, Mechazor around, this little 3 mana 3 3 just instantly kills it, which is pretty good. So yeah, it's very Exodia ish. Exodia ish. You assemble them, the Mechazor cards tend to have lower stats, but the payoff is really big. For those of you who haven't seen Duelist in some time on this channel, it's actually changed quite a bit. So there are now different heroes, uh, different generals, I should say, uh, in each faction. So there's two generals per, and they all have their own unique Bloodborne spell, which is a ability you can use every two turns after a certain amount of time. I've decided to go with Starhorn the Seeker, which is actually the slightly less played one, I believe, compared to Vath the Immortal for this deck. This Bloodborne spells both players draw a card. Vast is a really plain give your general plus one attack. I thought for a little bit of flavor I'd use the Starhorn here. Uh, both players drawing a card seems very symmetric, but uh, you can use it to refill. Your cards tend to be a little bit lighter in cost. And also there is a special card in this deck called Vindicator. The only legendary in this deck and without uh, the Vindicator. Well, I would recommend going Vath instead. This card uh, says whenever you, your opponent draws a card, this minion gets plus two, plus two. So once you have the board control, you drop the Vindicator and then this thing just grows really fast. Especially if you're using Starhorn. Uh, other than that, I've got some Stay Alive cards with Earth Sphere and Egg Morph. Some utility of dispelling stuff. And a lot of the cards in this deck have opening gambit, so there's three copies of Araki, which gains plus two attack each time a minion with opening gambit is summoned, which is basically every single card in this deck, almost. Okay, I'm going uh, first this time around, so I'll be the one to start with two mana. Uh, I can start off with an aggressive 1 mana, 2 mana, and then I can't take an... Uh, anyways, I'm replacing this 6 drop and the 4. I can go 1-1-2. One, one, really fast start. I replace the egg morph. Actually, it be really annoying and then start with wings. And like, uh, just wings away his first mana spring top. That's always annoying. This is quite a bully opening. And then get ready to pick up this mana spring. Wings of Mechazor, when you're going first, uh, on aggressively on his mana spring tile, is really good since it usually means you're gonna get all three of the mana spring tiles. And then behind that, I can play the Vindicator and another Helm of Mechazor. And that's already 60% done with Mechazor. Pretty splendid opening. He's got an 8-3 here. I can kill that with both of these guys. It does mean that I'm not going to be able to... Well, actually, I can still use this to help summon the Helm of Mechazor. I'm going to get first Spear. I'll go ahead and just collect all the mana. Uh, this move is more of a, he doesn't get it next turn, even though I can't use it. Or I could just place it here. This is greedier. Block his uh, access to the map. While not taking it myself. And then I'll use these two to kill off that giant guy.
But the only fight over the mana springs is pretty important. Mechazor tends to be able to do it pretty well. Oh no, my one attack guy can't counterattack. Replace Morph? Yeah, I'll keep that in case he's got a big card. I'll place the weak card. Actually, I'm close to my to Mechazor. I'm very close. Let me replace that. Okay, so I can summon Mechazor here, and he's definitely not going to be ready for this, I have to admit. This is a very fast Mechazor. Block his way. He is super bullied right now. Uh, that is just about as fast as you can summon Mechazor. Uh, that's by gathering all the mana tiles and by summoning five Mechazor cards. In your first uh, returns, let's see if he's got a answer to this. Airdrop frenzy ranged eight eight cannot be targeted by any spells, and even if he does, it seems like the amount of tempo I have on the tremendous. And just have Mechazor casually snipe off that five mana card. And this card's getting really big. Make it get even bigger. I have 8, 15, 16, 19. Now, hard to say whether hitting him or killing that very valuable card is more important, but I'll play it safe. That is a crushing opener. You just guessed? Oh, natural selection. Damn, that Vindicator got big. It's only a 3 mana card. Outstanding. Cards. I'm gonna once again drop the wings of Mechazor right in his face. And there's actually also a variant on that opening, since I can't spend that first mana on anything. Let's see, one of these do I like the least? I'll leave Vindicator early. Oh, Vindicator. Ah, that's a song high though. Get rid of the Vindicator. Uh, there's all sorts of opening theory going on, and I'm not entirely sure what's best, but I'll present the options. And some, you can do it right on his mana spring and then just waste it, and do it ahead of him, and he can't actually get to the mana spring one space, or you can just put it right here, and he also can't. Anyways, I'm gonna put it here. There's probably a very small subtle difference between putting it one space forward and here. The nice thing about Mechazor is, yes, the deck is relatively inexpensive as well. Uh, there is one legendary in the card, that Vindicator that you saw. And the Vindicator is pretty good. Uh, without the Vindicator, though, you can go with the more traditional other champion. On this turn, I can summon a lot of stuff. Here's like a comparison of how Mechazor's cards are a little bit worse. The 2 3 with range, there's a 2 2 with range, so if I summon a 2 2 with range, I'm actually going to lose that card. I can get quite a few of the mana crystals this turn, though. Get up to 5 mana worth of stuff. Possibly six. Anyways, replace Earth Sphere. Gotta get the specific ordering of the Mana Crystal collection correct. Uh, otherwise, it's the Mana Springs. It's easy to mistime it and then not have enough mana to do something since you need to summon on the mana crystal you need to get the buffs stuff like that anyways putting on pressure on that widowmaker 
Uh, this headhunter is the one that really wants to kill it. He could have actually used the backstab feature of this, move down here and then attack. Alright, since he has a 2-3 range, I should replace Cannon and Mechazor, unless I'm very close to Mechazor myself. Okay, well I should move up here and attack that, he took one damage on that. Uh, let me replace Mechantor War Beast, I guess, and it's really good for the turn 6 to kill that if it isn't handled yet. Let me replace Blaze him. No, let me replace Cannon and Mechazor. Then let me have both players draw a card. I might have gotten the 4 drop, which dispels by replaced first. Egg Morph. Have that guy move over there, so I can possibly get the Mechantor next turn. And I will summon a guy up there. Breton. This uh, Helm of Mechazor will try not to get killed by his general. I actually should have moved it two spaces forward, so that uh, this Helm of Mechazor can also move two spaces up, and then gather me that crystal. The spring. And then I can get the 6 mana and go Mechantor War Beast. I'm actually going to get punished for that. No, I won't, because I can egg morph this. But supposing he had an answer to this, I would get punished for not having access to collect that crystal. Or progress 80%. Deals double damage to generals, but it's just a 6 mana 4 6. Those uh, Mechantor War Beasts will be able to kill both of these, so they'll have to take a little bit of damage. And now I can use this instead of taking 8. Let me replace one of the War Beasts. Please hand. Both players draw a card. They can uh, come without the Vindicator. Oh, but I really wanted to play War Beast this turn. Now this guy over here be my uh, Mana Spring lookout. Have him be in range of the Mana Spring. Uh, again, I'll note that. There's a lot of fine positioning in this game, and if I had had this Helm of Mechazor uh, like one space forward two turns ago, I would have had a much bigger advantage with the War Beast. A lot of these subtleties. Anyways, looks like I can summon Mechazor this turn, and I can back to get all these cards out. So this one, then this one, then this one, so replace this one. And I should summon all of them forward, so I'm going to move the back one backwards. I'm actually going to summon Mechazor relatively close. In case it gets silenced, it can just melee in. Megazor uh, can go really far away or it can go kind of close so that in case something happens to it, it can still just go up and melee for 8 8. And also, this looks pretty safe. And of course, the hope is that this opponent cannot do anything about the Megazor and the Megazor will just kill him, which is going to happen a good amount of time. Him having a flying guy available uh, was also a decent preparation for Mechazor. Of 
Oops, should have done Vendicator first. Oh, I actually can't move any of these guys out of the way. Well, this could be okay, though. So this is going to be after getting dispelled. Oh, but this guy's in the middle. The Lightbender will also dispel the Vindicator. Uh, this is a problem. I could just not even dispel it. Send these two in here. Disappointing, but okay. Get in there. Another oh, Mechazor assembled. Starting with Wings and Mechazor when going first. It's always fun. I keep that, uh, the spell, even though it's really early game. Just because Lionar might buff something. That was certainly not the card that I want. The good ol' block his mana spring move. His ability is Roar. Give a minion nearby your general plus two attack. Oh, he's got a face deck. Flame Blood Warlock. Three damage to both general. Face decks do also exist here. So this is nice. I can use my Wings of Mechazor to step back one. Maybe I'm going to keep the Earth Sphere around. Uh, there shouldn't be that much that I need to dispel if he's a face deck. Move backward and then kill that 3-1. Make sure I have a guy guarding this mana spring. I summoned my uh, guy that can get buffed a little bit further away from his general since it's a little bit more valuable. And I'm gonna hold on to this Earth Spear since if he's a face deck, I'm going to wanna keep on to that healing just in case. I'm just gonna casually sit back and summon Mechazor then. Get rid of my dispel. Alright, I think I'll combo the Vindicator plus the hero power here. Bloodborne spell. And not attack since I'm gonna use this to clear off small guys. Often, uh, you'll get the chance to attack your general, but not take it. With any faction. And this is not a aggressive deck, and if I'm against an aggressive deck, I'll certainly spare my minions so that I can uh, kill his. If I have a dispel, that would be the one to dispel now. Alright, I think I'm almost summoned to Mechazor. Need uh, three more pieces. Two in my hand. I can do this with double. I think I might have to hit that. This deck seems like it was aggressive, but. Eh, I'll get rid of Crossbow. Hold on to this still. Especially since I'm about to take five. Headhunter... Helm... Wings... 
Place all the guys in between his general and mine. Try to make sure he doesn't hit me in the face too hard. Uh, I'll keep that guy there. Dude, oh. Okay. I... I need a Mechazor card here. And if I play this, I'll get up to 7-1. Seems good. Should replace first. Okay, so that's a Mechazor card. And then I'll get plus four. Alright, here we go. Mechazor time. Walk the way, run away. And it's Mechazor! Too scary for me. As you can see, with seven wins in a row over at the low ranks, it's an excellent newbie basher deck. And also, like, a good deck at the higher levels, too. Kind of, sort of. They are better, sometimes. But it's a good deck to start with, and it's relatively inexpensive.